Here's a couple of examples of how you can use the drum cat's more advanced features to get more sounds out of your drum software. For this example I'm using Superior Drummer 2 but you can use any different sort of drum software. Um, the thing with these kits is that you get lots, lots of different kit pieces and lots of symbols. And if you've got a drum cat, you know you've got only 10 pads on the main surface. So these examples show you a way of squeezing in more sounds on your pads. Okay, so here's the drum cat. I've got my tom set up in an arc around here, so I've got from high to low, four toms. I've got a cymbal crash set up on number eight, and the snare is on pad one. On pad zero, or pad ten, is the hi-hat, which is controlled with the foot pedal, as normal. The things I've done differently is on pad two, and um, because I want two different types of sound, I want a kind of rim click sound where if I'm playing slow as slow as I want, I've got one sound laid, so it sounds like that when you hit the pad softly, and when you hit it harder, you get a rim shot. On pad 7, because there's quite a few different symbols you can try on, on drum kit superior drum 2, uh, there's, I've set this as a random feature, so when you hit it once, it will cycle through different cymbal sounds. So this is nice when you come around and you want to hit a cymbal and you want to make it sound a bit different. By having number 8 is the same sound all the time, I know I've always got a constant cymbal sound. And on, for the ride, I've used the same sort of layering on here, so I've got a quiet sort of um, regular ride sound and when, when you hit it louder and I've put in the bell of the ride symbol in there as well. So this is how it looks like on the drum cat screen. Pad 2 is the pad I'm using for the rim click and rim shot sound. Um, so if I go into edit mode of that pad by holding down foot switch 1 and hitting the pad can see that here I'm using velocity shift mode VH, VSH1 so that's 1 means the first note of the shift um, the interesting line is the D line so that tells you what velocity that that is going to happen in this line here 72 to 127 is the actual the, the, the loudness here, the volume of that sound that you'll hit so, <laughs> 1 to 57 is playing a loudness of 72 to 127. So if I hit it louder, nothing happens because it's only going to play between a velocity of 1 to 57. Like so. Hitting this screen advance means going to note 2, so this is note 2 of the same pad. This one you can see happens at a higher velocity, so 58 to 1 to 7 with that kind of volume, 64 to 1 to 7, so it's squeezing that range into that. But here, if I hit this one lightly, nothing's going to happen. If I hit it louder, then you hear the sound because it's, I'm getting into that 58 range. So that's how the pad 2 is set up. Let's have a look at the cymbal pad. Okay, for the cymbal pad, which I've set up to go on random crash cymbals, if I go into edit that one, you can see I've set this on random 8 mode and hitting the uh, sound advance one will cycle through the different notes, note 2, note 3, note 4. I've got up to 8 different notes I can select on here and whenever it's hit it will randomly go through those. You've got similar settings to the uh, simple mode, so you've got the velocity when you hit that note which sat volume it's going to sound at. I've got this a little bit higher at 64 because usually when I hit a crash I want it to sound loud and crashy and um, sometimes if you hit it too lightly you don't want it to sound too light. Let's have a look at the ride pad now. Right, onto the ride symbol, which is on pad 9. If I go into edit mode for that one, I've set this up, one up so that you can have a ride sound throughout the entire range, but only when I hit it hard that you get the bell sound. So, for the first sound, which is this one, the regular ride, 
that's set to run between 1 and 127 velocity. So that means it's always going to be present and with that kind of volume range. Moving on to screen 2, which is the second sound, you can have up to four different velocity sounds. So if I, I can cycle through sound 3, which I haven't got any hints that one's off, and 4 are the same. If I go to back to 2, which is my bell, you can see here I've only got this one set up for a loud volume range, so 97 to 127. So that means when I hit it hard, then I get the bell and I get the normal rise sound. That's the volume set up for the bell sound. And that's all there is to it. Um, hopefully that will give you something to play with and something to experiment with. There's loads of more advanced features you can do on the drum cat, but there are a few simple ones to get you started.